All right, so just a little work update. I'm getting the fenders on. My gaps are okay. They're a little bit bigger than I'd like to, but they at least match the back. They're not bad. Again, late 70s GM quality wasn't the best. Uh, other side fits pretty good. We have a quarter inch. This hood does taper, and I measured. So we got a quarter inch of... So we got a quarter inch of difference between the back of the hood and the back of the fenders quarter of an inch at the front of the hood and or at the front of the hood and the front of the fenders so we have an eighth of an inch on each side of gap to play with when we go to put the hood on I did that set that up so this gap is a little bit big but keep in mind that right now the front half of the frame is unloaded because I have jack stands at the corners here so the weight of the engine is pulling it down just some um probably gonna need that socket and uh, i'm about to put the wheelhouse in and it's kind of funny i was telling my wife um i got this bag of hardware from an old shop i used to work at and uh, it's actually the hardware for the wheelhouses that i just kit. it's all brand new it's from like 11 years ago when I, I got a little too excited, I put them in, then I couldn't get these in, and I just left them off. And left the, I just used the big main bolts, those to the front, to bolt it in, and it actually rattled around quite a bit, and it annoyed the fuck out of me. So, we're actually going to bolt it in. So, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I've been working on it for a couple hours. We went fishing all day. And uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go pick up those Chevy Rallies for the rear. I found a guy out in Chicago who's got some. Price is perfect, and we're going to do that, and then I'm going to order my master cylinder and brake booster, and then hopefully next weekend, we're going to go out to the local farm and fleet, buy our, all of our spools of wire, and rewire it, and get this thing closer, so hopefully by tomorrow, end's day, day's end, I should say, we're going to have the lights back in, bumper back on, wheelhouse is in, and we're going to just be ready to take care of the last little details, and then I'm going to eventually have to get a drive shaft made for it which is probably going to be one of the very last items I'm still waiting on a couple of items from jugs so all right guys i'm gonna let you go um and we'll follow it up all right guys uh check it in letting you guys know we made some good progress in the car obviously i showed you guys everything how everything fits this is actually how everything fits with the weight of the car down you can hear there's a slow leak at that tire. I went and picked these up this morning. They're 15 by 8 Chevy Rallies. Actually sitting there really nice. I actually really like the offsets on both of these wheels. They're a little bit further out than what I had with the Kregers. Uh, Going to need tires. Obviously they're junk for both wheels. Um, but uh, this thing looks pretty damn good. Uh, just sitting there even with it all hillbillified there. It's not, it's not a bad thing. I like it. Uh, so the front end is back together, bumpers lined up, it's all bolted in, grills are in, lights, bezels, all that's in, top plate, got our reservoir back on because I took that off, cleaned up the how the wheelhouses a little bit, they were dirty, but I absolutely am loving how this engine bay turned out, um, just a lot of little detail stuff, so obviously our AC box cleaned up that whole area really nice. I still need to put the windshield wiper motor back on. Tonight I'm going to order my brake booster master cylinder, a couple other parts as well. Um, and then hopefully in the next two weeks we'll have this thing uh, back up and running and driving. Uh, now, I made a subject earlier on, probably last year, uh, about somebody, you know, they, they just got done building the car, they took it for a drive and it burned to the ground. Uh, for starters, the first thing I have to do is fill all fluids. Uh, and along with that, there's going to be more items there to check. Double check fuel lines, double check everything that we put hands on. And, uh, you know, top off the fluids and whatnot. But um, from here, man, we're going to move along pretty good. Another thing I have to order is I have to get electric fans. I'm going to do electric fans on this. And then... Um, I have to make custom brackets for the radiator because the shroud actually held the radiator in place on this car. So um, that's what I'm going to do. What the fuck is in here? 
I'm like hearing a noise. A little bee. That's what's smacking against the glass. It's been driving me nuts. So, anyway, I got to make the brackets um, to hold it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the top of the radiator, not into it. This is a hollow passage. I already have holes here. I'm going to put some nut certs in there. Make a little bracket to tie the radiator in. And then I have to make rubber grommets for the bottom. Because, again, this all sat in the shroud. Um... But I have my hoses in there just holding it in place. I have to get a couple bolts for that pulley. I only got two in there. Um, I need to finish off uh, drilling and tapping that EGR passage. Um, and really, there's not a lot. I got to hook up the steering shaft. Um, clean up a couple items here. The hood release cable that had a bunch of duct tape. I never cleaned that before. I'm going to clean it this time. And... Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. Everything came together pretty good. All the parts are out of the basement. Everything is back on the car. And so we started on this the very first week of January. And here we are the very, very first week of May. And we are pretty much back in business for the most part. I guess we have a complete car again. And so I think uh, it's going to work out really good. Uh, you know, I can't wait to fire it up and get this thing to roar back to life. I got to top off the transmission, put oil in it, gas in it, do our... I still have to do the neck modification for the venting, but uh, that can get done later for now. And I'm I'm, I'm going to... I'm not going to do it until after we're driving it because I would like to record what it does. And then I would like to record it afterwards. It would be a good opportunity to document it and show what it does. So... I think I'm going to go about it that way. And uh, really, I'm kind of digging this like hillbilly, almost looks like a too nice of a derby car, derby car look. Um, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed following along on this project and little things here and there. Share, like, subscribe, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, share it, tell your friends. Um, hopefully when this is done... Um, Wife will be out doing burnouts with it because I really, I'm only going to drive it to shake out the bugs. And then once everything's good, she's on her own. This is going to be like her daily driver. So I'll let you guys go on that note. And uh, hopefully you guys are doing good during this whole COVID-19 thing. And you guys are staying busy and still able to work on your projects. Um, I've been doing it really, really cheaply. So uh, I'm ending up to repurpose the money from selling the wheels for other things and we're just going to cruise with these wheels until we know we can get the wheels we want so hopefully you guys are doing good hopefully you guys are staying healthy and uh, we're gonna let you go